AIDS was an epidemic crisis in the early 1980s on a global landscape, and since its discovery, millions have faced its wrath, while societies have grappled with the stigma and fear that it ushered in. Being an infectious disease person, I said, oh my goodness, this has to be a brand new infection. But why talk about celebrities in this context? Well, in their unique positions of influence, these luminaries not only face the personal struggles of the disease, but also inadvertently shone a spotlight on it, propelling global conversations. The AIDS epidemic has claimed the life of another major talent. Through their stories, we venture into a compelling narrative, showcasing the battle against AIDS and the indomitable human spirit. Join us as we have a look at 15 famous celebrities who died by AIDS. Number 1. Freddie Mercury Freddie Mercury, the flamboyant frontman of the rock band Queen, was more than just a musician. He was an absolute icon, with a voice that could make arenas resonate and a stage presence that commanded attention. Freddie was the epitome of rock and roll royalty. His lyrics, often poetic and profound, resonated with fans all across the globe. But behind the glitz and glamour and the powerful vocals lay a man who was grappling with a secret. A secret that would eventually become public and send shockwaves throughout the music community and beyond. In the late 1980s, rumors began to swirl about Freddie's health. The once energetic performer appeared gaunt and frail in public appearances, leading to rampant speculation. But Freddie, ever the enigmatic figure, remained largely silent, choosing to keep his personal battles private. It would not be until a day before his death in 1991 that he would publicly acknowledge his struggle with AIDS, confirming the suspicions of many. Freddie's life, though cut short, serves as a reminder of the fragile nature of existence, but it also stands as a great example of the enduring power of art and the human spirit. Through his music, Freddie Mercury continues to live on, inspiring generations with his passion, talent, and courage with which he led his life. As the years go by, his songs remain timeless, and his story, a powerful catalyst for change in the ongoing battle against AIDS and the stigma associated with it. Number 2. Rock Hudson In the golden age of Hollywood, few have shown as bright as Rock Hudson. The tall and dashing actor with the chiseled jawline and charismatic presence was the very embodiment of the classic leading man. From romantic comedies to hard-hitting dramas, Hudson's versatility and undeniable charm made him a box office sensation. But beneath the polished veneer of the silver screen, Hudson harbored a secret that, when revealed, would change Hollywood and the world's perception of AIDS. Hudson's diagnosis and subsequent passing later that year brought an urgency to the AIDS conversation. It forced many to confront their biases and misunderstandings about the disease, and the actor's brave decision to go public with his diagnosis at a time when the stigma around AIDS was obvious was a watershed moment in the fight for awareness and understanding. Today, Rock Hudson is remembered not only as a talented actor who dazzled audiences, but as a figure who, in his final act, sparked a much-needed dialogue about a global epidemic, and through his story the world was reminded of the indiscriminate nature of AIDS and the urgent need for compassion, understanding, and action. Number 3. Easy e Easy e born Eric Wright, was more than just a rapper. He was a force of nature, with his distinctive voice, unapologetic lyrics, and signature Compton cap. Easy e became synonymous with the rise of West Coast hip-hop in the late 1980s. As a founding member of the groundbreaking group N.W.A., he and his compatriots did not only rap about the streets, they painted vivid pictures of life in the inner city, addressing systemic issues that many preferred to sweep under the rug. By the early 1990s, Easy e had solidified his place within the music industry. His influence extended beyond the confines of Compton, reaching a global audience and cementing hip-hop as a dominant cultural force. But just as his star was reaching its zenith, tragedy would strike. In 1995, with shocking swiftness, Easy e would be diagnosed with AIDS and passed away only a month later. The rap world reeled, and fans were left in disbelief. The impact of Easy es death was profound. Conversations about safe practices and AIDS awareness began to gain traction in communities where it had previously been taboo. The hip-hop world in particular began to grapple with the implications of the disease, with artists using their platforms to promote awareness and advocate for change. Today, as his beats continue to resonate and his lyrics echo in the annals of hip-hop history, Easy e is remembered as a trailblazer 
a voice of a generation whose final chapter serves as a call to action for all. Number 4. Anthony Perkins When one thinks of the classic film Psycho, the chilling image of Norman Bates, brilliantly portrayed by Anthony Perkins, inevitably comes to mind. With his boyish charm and intense gaze, Perkins masterfully navigated a range of roles, but it was his portrayal of Bates that solidified his place in cinematic history. Off-screen, however, Perkins led a life that, while full of its fair share of Hollywood glamour, also featured personal struggles and a secret that he had held close to his heart. All throughout his career, Perkins had graced the silver screen in performances that were both nuanced and compelling, from romantic leads to complex characters, he had showcased a versatility that endeared him to directors and audiences alike. But as the years made progress, the whispers surrounding his private life would grow louder. Perkins, ever the private individual, kept his personal matter shielded from the prying eyes of the public. In the wake of his passing, his life and career were celebrated with a renewed appreciation. His contributions to film were lauded, and his battle with AIDS had brought attention to the need for greater understanding and compassion. The narrative around the disease began to shift, with Perkins' story serving as a catalyst for more open conversations and advocacy. Today, Anthony Perkins is remembered not only for his incredible contributions to film, but also for the courage it took to live his truth in an era of judgment and secrecy. Number 5. Rudolf Nirev in the world of ballet, few names evoke as much reverence and awe as Rudolf Nerev. The dancer, with his magnetic presence and unparalleled grace, leapt beyond the confines of the stage to become an international icon. His performances were electrifying, a blending of raw energy and poetic fluidity, earning him the title the Lord of the Dance. Yet, behind the pirouettes and grand jetés, he harbored a passion and intensity that went well beyond dance, extending to every facet of his life. From his dramatic defection from the Soviet Union to his collaborations with some of the greatest names in ballet, his career would be storied as it was illustrious. But in the late 1980s, amidst the relentless performances and touring, whispers began to circulate about his health. The once indeflatable dancer seemed to be showing signs of strain. The world, which had so often been entranced by his movements, now watched with bated breath. His passing was more than only the ending of a dancer's journey. It was a poignant moment in the ongoing narrative of AIDS, and through his story the world was reminded of the indiscriminate nature of the disease, which does not discriminate between anyone, whether they be a ballet legend or a normal individual. His battle with AIDS became a clarion call for greater awareness, understanding, and empathy, and today, as the echoes of his performances still reverberate through theaters worldwide, he's remembered not only for his unparalleled artistry, but also for the courage and resilience that he displayed in the face of daunting adversity. Number 6. Liberace The world of entertainment has seen many stars, but few have shown as bright or flamboyantly as Liberace. With his dazzling costumes, candle-bra-adorned pianos, and a flair for the dramatic, he was more than just a pianist, he was a showman per excellence. His performance were a mesmerizing blend of virtuoso and theater, making him one of the highest paid and most beloved entertainers of his time. But behind the sequin jackets and infectious smile, Liberace navigated a life that was full of both adulation and challenge. By the mid-1980s, rumors had begun to circulate about his health. The performer, who had once dazzled audiences with boundless energy, seemed to be in decline and it was not until his death in 1987 that the truth would come to light. Liberace had died of complications related to AIDS. The revelation would send ripples across the entertainment industry and among his vast legions of fans. The flamboyant icon who had brought joy to so many had been silently battling a disease that was still widely misunderstood. Liberace's passing marked a significant moment in the public's perception of AIDS. His death humanized the epidemic illustrating that it was not only confined to certain groups, but could actually touch anyone, even those in the glitzy world of showbiz. The conversation around AIDS began to shift, with a growing emphasis on understanding, compassion, and the urgent need for research. Today, Liberace's legacy is twofold. He's remembered for his incredible contributions to entertainment, for the joy that he brought to millions, and for his unique brand of showmanship. But he's also remembered for the impact of his story on the larger narrative of AIDS. Through his life and untimely death, Liberace reminds us of the fragile nature of existence, 
the importance of authenticity, and the enduring power of art and love in the face of adversity. Number 7. Robert Reed In the pantheon of beloved television fathers, Robert Reed's portrayal of Mike Brady in The Brady Bunch holds a special place. With his calm demeanor, reassuring voice, and ever-present wisdom, Reed's character became an archetype of the ideal father for a generation of viewers. Off the screen, however, Reed was a consummate professional, dedicated to his craft and respected by peers, but much like the characters he portrayed, he was a complex individual with layers that went beyond the scripts that he brought to life. Reed's career spanned decades with roles in various television shows and films, yet it was the Brady Bunch that cemented his legacy. As the head of a blended family navigating the challenges and joys of life, his portrayal resonated with audiences, making the show a cultural touchstone. And behind the scenes, Reed was known for his commitment to authenticity and often pushed for storylines to reflect genuine human experiences. As the years passed on and Reed continued to grace television screens, very few could have guessed the personal challenges that he had faced. He, like many of his contemporaries, had navigated the complexities of fame in an era where personal privacy was paramount and societal expectations were rigid. It was not until his untimely death in 1992 that a deeply personal aspect of his life became public. Robert Reed had been diagnosed with HIV. Today, his legacy is multifaceted. He's remembered fondly for his iconic roles and warmth that he brought to characters, yet his story also serves as a reminder of the human faces that are behind the AIDS epidemic. In his memory, the entertainment industry rallied, advocating for greater understanding, research, and compassion. His life, both on and off the screen, underscored the importance of empathy, the challenges of societal norms, and the lasting impact of genuine storytelling. Number 8. Keith Herring The vibrant world of art in the 1980s was punctuated by the dynamic work of Keith Herring. With his bold lines, bright colors, and instantly recognizable motifs, his art was more than just visually captivating. It was a reflection of the energy and ethos of the era. Radiating from subway walls, galleries, and even the bodies of his collaborators, his work was a visual symphony of activism, celebration, and human raw emotion. Emerging from the bustling streets of New York City, his art became extricably linked to the urban landscape. He began his journey with chalk drawings on empty advertising panels and subway stations, and these simple yet compelling pieces would catch the eyes of passers-by and soon catapulted him to international acclaim. But for him, art was never about the fame. It was a medium to communicate, to challenge, and to champion causes that were dear to his heart. In the wake of his death, the community and the world at large had mourned the loss of a luminous talent, yet his enduring legacy goes on. His art continues to inspire, resonate, and spark conversation, and beyond the canvas, his battle with AIDS and his advocacy efforts serve as a witness to the power of art as a tool for change. Today, he's remembered not only for his iconic creations, but for the great impact that he left on the world, championing love, acceptance, and the fight for a brighter future. Number 9. Perry Ellis In the world of fashion where trends come and go with seasons, certain names stand the test of time. Perry Ellis is one such name. With his relaxed silhouettes, innovative designs, and a keen eye for detail, Ellis redefined American sportswear, making it both chic and accessible. His eponymous brand became synonymous with effortless style and modern elegance, yet behind the sketches, runways, and accolades, he faced personal challenges that would ultimately intertwine with his professional legacy. The 1980s were a transformative period for fashion, and Ellis was at the forefront, pushing boundaries and challenging convention. His designs resonated with a generation who was looking for a fresh approach to dressing, merging comfort with sophistication. As his brand grew in prominence, so did his influence, making him one of the most defining fashion voices of the era. However, as the decade progressed, whispers began to circulate about Ellis's health. The designer, who was known for his vibrant personality and tireless work ethic, seemed to be slowing down. Public appearances became more rare, and in them, he appeared noticeably frail. The fashion community watched with concern, hoping for the best but fearing the worst and their fears would then be confirmed in 1986 when he succumbed to complications of AIDS. The revelation would send shockwaves throughout the fashion world. Ellis, with his immense talent and promise, had been taken by a disease that was still shrouded in mystery and prejudice. 
His death brought the reality of the AIDS epidemic to the doorsteps of the fashion community, forcing a reckoning and a call to action. Number 10. Halston The glitz and glamour of the 1970s fashion scene had a name that stood out from the rest, that being Halston. With his minimalist designs, luxurious fabrics, and a knack for understanding the zeitgeist, Halston redefined American fashion, making it both inspirational and attainable. His designs from the iconic ultra suede shirt dress to his elegant evening gowns captured the essence of an era, becoming staples in the wardrobes of the elite and celebrities alike. Studio 54 might have been the place to be, but Halston was the name to wear. However, as the 80s would dawn, a shadow began to fall over Halston's sparkling world, rumors about his health began to circulate within tight-knit fashion circles, and the once dynamic designer seemed to be retreating from the limelight, with whispers of an undisclosed illness becoming more loud. In 1990, the fashion world's worst fears were confirmed. He had died from complications related to AIDS. The impact of his death was profound, in an industry that's known for flamboyance and excess, the reality of AIDS had claimed one of its brightest stars. Halston's passing underscored the indiscriminate nature of the disease, reminding the world that it spared no one, not even those atop the pedestals of fame and success. Today, Halston's legacy lives on. His designs, which once graced the runways and red carpets, are revered as masterpieces of American fashion. Museums and collectors alike celebrate his contributions, showcasing his work as a clear indicator of his genius. Beyond the fabric and stitches, however, his story is also an example of a tumultuous era. His life was marked by incredible highs and tragic lows, and serves as an example of the fleeting nature of success and the enduring spirit of creativity in the face of adversity. Number 11. Randy Schiltz in the realm of journalism, where truth is the most coveted asset, Randy Shields emerged as a beacon of integrity and tenacity. As one of the first openly gay reporters at a major U.S. newspaper, Shields not only reported the news, he often lived the realities of the stories he covered. With a keen eye for detail and unwavering commitment to the facts, Shields became the voice of a community, grappling with the burgeoning AIDS crisis, giving voice to the voiceless while shedding light on the dark corners of society. Throughout the 1980s, as the AIDS epidemic began a grim march across the planet, Schultz was on the front lines, documenting the stories of those who were affected. His groundbreaking work, and the band played on, delved into the early days of the epidemic, chronicling the failures, fears, and political wranglings that allowed the disease to spread unchecked. The book was more than just a journalistic endeavor. It was a clarion call for action, understanding, and compassion. In 1994, Schiltz succumbed to the complications of AIDS, leaving behind a legacy of journalistic excellence and advocacy. His passing was felt deeply, not only in the corridors of the newsrooms, but in the hearts of those who had touched his work. Today, Schiltz is remembered, not just for the ink that he put to paper, but for the lives that he touched and the truth that he unearthed. In a world that's often clouded with misinformation and prejudice, Schiltz's work stands as a beacon reminding everyone of the importance of facts, empathy, and the enduring spirit of truth-seeking in the face of adversity. Number 12. Dak Rambo In the glitzy world of Hollywood, where stars often shine brightly but briefly, Dak Rambo carved a niche for himself with his undeniable charisma and acting prowess. Gracing both the small and big screen, Rambo became a recognizable face, particularly in the world of television soap opera. His roles in shows like Dallas and Another World showcased his versatility, allowing him to become a household name. But off-screen, Rambo lived a life that was marked by the typical ups and downs of stardom, with added layers of complexity and introspection. As the 1980s and early 90s unfolded, the shadow of the AIDS epidemic began to touch the lives of many in the entertainment industry. Rambo, known for his candidness, did not shy away from his own personal revelations. In a bold move, he publicly disclosed his HIV-positive status, becoming one of very few actors to do so in his time. This admission was not only a personal declaration, but a statement that sought to demystify the disease and combat the rampant stigma associated with it. Dak Rambo's subsequent retirement from acting allowed him to focus on advocacy and awareness, but sadly his battle with AIDS would be short-lived. He passed away in 1994, yet his decision to share his diagnosis and his efforts to raise awareness would leave a long-lasting impact, serving as a reminder of the personal stories behind the headlines 
of the epidemic. Number 13, Brad Davis. Brad Davis, with his piercing eyes and intense on-screen presence, was a force to be reckoned with in the cinematic world. Best known for his riveting performance in the film Midnight Express, Davis was celebrated for his ability to delve deep into the psyche of his characters, making them both relatable and profoundly human. His rise in Hollywood was meteoric, with roles that showcased his range and depth as an actor. However, behind the accolades and acclaim, he had grappled with personal challenges that remained hidden from the public eye. As the AIDS crisis would intensify, Davis had found himself ensnared within its grip, diagnosed with the disease that had claimed so many of his contemporaries. Unlike many, Davis chose to keep his diagnosis private, navigating the challenges of the illness away from the spotlight. His untimely death in 1991 would come as a shock to many. The world had learned of his battle with AIDS, adding an unforgettable chapter to his already storied legacy. In the wake of his passing, he was remembered not only for his cinematic contributions, but also for the quiet dignity with which he had faced his final challenge. His life, both on and off the screen, revealed the complexities of existence and the fleeting nature of fame, along with the enduring spirit of resilience. Number 14. Alvin Ailey In the world of dance, few names evoke the blending of passion, innovation, and cultural resonance that Alvin Ailey does. Ailey was not only a choreographer, but a visionary, and through the language of movement, he told stories that spanned the breadth of the human experience, often drawing deeply from his own African-American heritage. The Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater, which he founded, became a powerhouse in the realm of contemporary dance, introducing audiences to a fusion of ballet, modern dance, and African dance techniques. Ailey's choreographic masterpieces like Revelations transcended the stage, becoming cultural touchstones that spoke of history, hope, and the human spirit. Yet behind the leaps, turns, and applause, he had faced personal battles that remained largely veiled from public view. As the 1980s made progress, the specter of AIDS began to cast its shadow on the arts community, and Ailey was not spared. His diagnosis, which he had kept private, didn't deter his passion or his commitment to dancing, and even as he grappled with the disease, he continued to create, inspire, and mentor the next generation of dancers. When he passed away in 1989, the dance community would mourn the loss of a luminary. The revelation of his battle with AIDS added a layer of poignancy to his already monumental legacy. Today, his spirit lives on, not only in the dance company that bears his name, but in the countless lives that he touched. Number 15. Arthur Ashe on the tennis courts, amidst the roar of the crowd and the rhythmic volleying of the ball, Arthur Ashe emerged as a titan. His prowess with the racket, matched only by his grace and dignity off the court, Ashe was not only a tennis player but a trailblazer, breaking racial barriers and becoming the first black man to win singles titles at the U.S. Open, the Australian Open, and Wimbledon. Ashe's impact went beyond tennis. He was an advocate, using his platform to champion civil rights education, and later on, health issues. His diagnosis with HIV, a result of a blood transfusion, brought a new cause to the forefront of his advocacy efforts. Ash approached his diagnosis with the same grace and determination that had defined his tennis career. He became an outspoken advocate for HIV AIDS awareness, education, and research, aiming to dispel myths and combat the stigma. Tragically, his life would be cut short in 1993 due to complications from AIDS, and the world had lost not only a tennis legend, but a humanitarian and beacon of hope. In his passing, his legacy was solidified not only by his athletic achievements, but by his unwavering commitment to making the world a better place. Today, Arthur Ashe is remembered as a symbol of excellence, resilience, and advocacy. His life, both on the tennis court and beyond, serves as an inspiration reminding us of the potentials within us all to affect change and leave a long-lasting legacy.